All right, guys, today I want to show everybody how to take down the Summer Wave 16 foot pool or just about any other above ground pool. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and drain the pool. We went ahead and did that beforehand, but I'll show you what to do. You just unscrew the drain plug right here. And some pools have an inside drain plug feature as well for a safety. And you got to make sure you undo that one as well. Once you unscrew this and take the inside one out, all the water will run out. That could take about an hour or so, maybe even a little longer. The next step is to go ahead and take off your pool pump. Once you've got it drained, to take the pool pump off, you just unscrew it from the liner right here. That will come right off, and then you can pull this out. You don't want to lose your seal. Put that back on, and then snug that, and then also you want to go ahead and take off the pool. All right, so we went ahead and took the hose off of this attachment here and then basically you have to unscrew this as well now you want to try to keep all the pieces together so as soon as you unscrew it right here from the liner that will come off and then unscrew it out of the liner don't like pull so. it out of the liner and then don't just rip it out of the liner you want to unscrew it that way you don't tear the liner then put all that back together then you can put your jet back on and then what I would do is just reattach it back to the pump so you know the exact order. It'll help you next time you go to put it back up. So everything's still in order. And you can get that out of your way. All right, the next step you want to do is start taking the frame apart. Basically, you just want to pop these out, pull them up. And you don't have to pull every single pin up. Now, these things are getting old, so they're starting to get kind of sticky. But you don't want to lose them. They'll help prevent rust because it'll help prevent the wear on this so you want to keep those and then all you have to do is take one of these you can leave one and then you'll be able to pull these two pieces apart and then it'll allow you to pull the entire piece out of the liner so next step you got all your pins out we're just going to put ours in our chemical our little floater that had our bleach tablets in it and that way We'll have them safekeeping for next year. The next step is to go ahead and pop this apart. Now this could be tricky. I don't know if I can just get it real easy like that, but it's up to it right now. I'm just that's been there for a while. If I get this left up, there we go. I bet it'll come out a lot easier. Here. So guys, you may have to do that. Let's see what happens now. There, there we is. go. That works. Okay. That was the hard part. So we'll go ahead and take off every section all the way around and then it'll just be the legs that need taken off still. Okay. All right, so we got all those pieces apart now. So the pool is just laying on the ground. Sorry the pool's a mess, but we're gonna clean it at the end here. So basically we just gotta pop the legs off like so. It's two push buttons. You just push them with one hand and then you can just pop them out like that. So we're going to go ahead and do that all the way around. All right, so the next step here is to just go ahead and pull these metals out of the sleeve. And we'll just do that all the way around. And uh, then we'll show you how to clean the pool liner. All right, so now we got all the poles out. All the metal frame is gone. And basically, we want to clean the liner off so that way we can put it away for the winter. And it'll be somewhat clean once we go to put it back up. Basically what we're going to do is pull up on the side that has the least amount of water on it and kind of spray it down so it all accumulates into the lowest point of the pool. Then we'll just slowly work our way up until all the water drains off the edge. So we sprayed off about three quarters of the pool. We still have a puddle. So we're gonna basically pull the liner over itself. That'll help the water flow off of the edges of the pool. So just like this, we're gonna pull it over itself and that's gonna flip it inside out. And then there won't be any more puddles like that. And we'll just kind of space it out. Just drag it out. Mm -hmm. right. This 
go drag this off here, kind of get it up off the ground. This was our base for our pool. And, uh, I hope everybody had a great year swimming in their pools. Make sure you like this video if you liked it or if it was helpful. And press that subscribe button and that will show you other videos maybe pertaining to installing the pool or just maintaining it. Thanks again. God bless.